Yo, so what's up? I'm trying. And today I'm going to show you how I make my music visualizers. So it's a super simple process. I'm in After Effects, Adobe After Effects. And this is the project for my song Clockwork. So first off, I've got just two text layers like my name and the song name. Like, really simple. If you're curious, the text is Microsoft E Baby. I love that font. But anyways, that's that's just that. And the picture in my album art just fades in. And I've got the uh, I've got keyframes from like, the opacity. They just go from zero to hundred over like two seconds. And that's that's all that is. That's the that's the easy stuff. So to get this effect, I'll make a new composition real quick. For example. So I've got this new composition to get what I have over here and the other one. I'll take just the music. Um I'll take this and this is just my audio file, it's my song. And I'll make a new solid. And it's like color and whatever, it don't matter. Oh steam. Um and then under effects, if you go to audio, or no, I like to generate an audio spectrum. And you get this, it's by default, it is a, uh, it's like a line, right? So, you take that, and then on top of it, you could take your ellipse tool, and then Make a circle, control alt shift to uh, make it like proportional in a circle stuck to the middle. So if you take it, you just make whatever shape you want. You can do this for like any shape really. And then come over here to your path, path, mask one. And then you can see it's like in a circle. I could take this. Make it black so you can actually see. Um, now it's in a circle, so it like follows the mask. And then you take your audio layer and you make it your audio file. And then you can see it moves. So I'll jump over to my, make sure this is recording. I'll jump over to my other projects right here. And what I've done is uh, I, I have. Every single one of these waves are a different, uh, like a different thing, like a different one of these right here. So under it, first of all, I've got start frequency of 75, uh, end frequency of 7500, a uh, 100 frequency band, which is like how many dots are on it. So if you like increase it, I get there's more and more and more dots. I'll keep that at 100. Uh, the maximum height is like how far the dots will bounce in whatever direction. So you can see, like, right, right, right there is like as high as it'll go. So, uh, usually bass gets like a lot higher. So just be wary of that. Um, and audio duration, I have it like 200. Uh, so, uh, you can just mess with that setting. I actually don't know 100% what it does, but just mess with it until you find it. What you want, the thickness is like how thick the dots and whatever are. I have it on 4.2. Uh, softness is like uh, how like soft it is, obviously. I've got that at 50%. And then I've got the color is white. You can just do whatever you want with that. And the display option. There are a bunch of different, and by a bunch of different, I mean three, but there are three different like ways that the uh, information can be shown and on two different sides. So it's two sides really going into the circle or the path, and the other one's going out. So like side B, maybe like that, and side A is going in. Um, so for this one, it's analog dots. Uh, for this one, it's just uh, it's just digital, so it's like lines going. Um, 
for this one. It's again lines, but it's going in. Um, for this one, it's dots, but going out. Uh, for this one, it's my favorite, honestly, analog lines. So it, it, it's like a spectrogram, or not a spectrogram, an oscilloscope almost. Um, in that sense. So that's cool. And then all together, you get a bunch of lag when you're recording. But, yeah, a bunch of lag when you're recording. But you can get like cool things like that. And on your dots, uh, like the ones with your dots, if you take the maximum height and you make it a little bit higher than uh, your uh, lines and your like digital everything, then it'll look like a, uh, let me take this maximum height, like 5, 100. A little bit more. Then you have like an accent on top of the movement. And then you just export it to like QuickTime file, and then it's all good. So yeah, that's how I do my, uh, my music visualizers. Hope you learned something. Hope you liked it. Subscribe if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.